Have you ever found yourself after you've been promoted, wondering how the heck you're going to get through the day? In this episode, we're going to cover the common reasons why you might have gotten tripped up after you were promoted. And if you have a promotion on the horizon, what you might want to prepare yourself for. For those of you who are new to the Women Taking the Lead podcast, hello and welcome. I'm Jody Flynn. I'm an executive leadership coach, speaker, and author. I have the privilege and joy to work with women leaders to hone the skills that will allow them to grow into and then thrive in senior leadership. My specialization is working with women who are still stabilizing after their last promotion and those who are preparing for the next one. I'm the current president of the board for the Maine Women's Conference and find myself working primarily from Norfolk, Virginia, and at times from Massachusetts and Maine. If we are not already connected on LinkedIn, please send me an invitation to connect. You can find me by putting Jody Flynn in the search bar. It's J-O-D-I-F-L-Y-N-N or going directly to linkedin.com forward slash I-N forward slash Jody Flynn. Add a note to the invitation, letting me know you're a listener of the podcast. I would love to connect with you and get to know you better. If you've been listening to the Women Taking the Lead podcast for a while, you know at the end of May 2021, I announced I was going to take some time to process all of the changes that had been taking place that last year. Well, it turned out there was not only a lot to process, there was a lot to do. And as of the day I'm recording this, it is now February of 2022. Didn't see that coming. I joined a business development program in the summer. I had a slew of speaking engagements in the fall. And the Maine Women's Conference 2021 was in early November. By the time I was coming up for air, the holidays had hit and it was time to plan for 2022. I am done deep processing for now, and I'm ready to jump back in and share with you the insights I've gained and the changes I've made. This leads me to why I asked the opening question in this episode. It was, have you ever found yourself after you've been promoted wondering how the heck you're going to get through the day? Last year around this time, I had a conversation with a genius friend of mine, Christy Mims, about my business. Christy has two coaching businesses and has been earning seven figures from her businesses for several years now. In her business and podcast, Coach Pony, she trains and guides life coaches to get their first 10 clients and then build their businesses up to six figures. For context, Life coaching is considered to be the most difficult area of coaching to make money in, and Christy and her coaches have a lot of success despite the bad press. Because of this, I value her perspective when it comes to the business of coaching. Christy and I were chatting about the lack of traction I was getting with my marketing efforts, and she kindly pointed out to me something I knew but didn't want to confront. You ever had that experience? (laughs) I was trying to talk to women working in two different arenas at the same time in my marketing. In my emails, on my podcast, and on my website, it wasn't clear who I was trying to reach. I love working with women who are small business owners and have a smallish team helping them achieve their goals and they have plans to continue to grow their business. I also love working with women who are leaders within organizations who have achieved mid to senior level leadership and have the potential to take on greater responsibility in the organization. These two women have the same personality, overachiever with a touch of people pleasing and a desire to have a great impact. But their work dynamic is slightly different and they use different language to talk about their work. Trying to talk to both of these women at the same time was causing me to water down my message, and I was being vague. Christy spoke out loud a thought that had already been kicking around in my head. She told me directly, pick one. I felt angst. (laughs) The whole reason I had been avoiding this thought in my head was because I hadn't wanted to pick one, but I knew she was right, and I knew who needed my support the most. After 2020, I started to get more inquiries from women who were working within organizations who were wanting some support for one reason or another. Most of them had been given a promotion either right before or soon after the pandemic started, and they were still trying to adjust to all the changes. 
several women said something to the effect of, I haven't been able to get my feet under me since getting promoted or since the pandemic started. I made the decision to focus on women leaders within organizations. This meant making some changes to my business. I became a certified woman-owned business through WeBank. I updated and created marketing materials, and I created the Leadership Operating System Quiz to help women within organizations identify areas of opportunity and how they were operating as a leader. It has been a little scary making this pivot, but I am all in. It was very similar to taking on a new role at work. There are several changes, but it's exciting and it's rewarding as well. If you are between promotion, it is my goal to have this podcast be a resource for you. It's also my goal, if you need more than a resource, to let you know how you can work with me and how to have your professional development covered by your employer. I'll have an episode coming out soon about this, and we'll also have resources on my website as well. Now let's dive into two common reasons you might get tripped up after a promotion. These reasons are around your identity and how you think you contribute value. What I find with my clients is that even though there may be some technical aspects of the role they've been given that they need to train up on, these are not usually the areas that cause them to feel unsteady. Or they might be getting tripped up by the technical responsibilities of their new position because of the growth that is required around identity and how they bring value. If you haven't yet shifted your identity to operate at the level of leadership you are in, or if there's a story you have about how you contribute value that is not in sync with your current responsibilities, it will show up in how you lead in one or several areas of leadership. This will make your work more difficult, and over time, it will wear you out. You'll start to question your ability to lead others, do your job, or even function in other areas of your life. I developed the Leadership Operating System Quiz as a way for you to quickly identify where you could focus your developmental resources for free. You only have so much time in the day, and knowing exactly where you need to focus some extra attention will save you time and energy. This quiz will also be a nice pat on the back to see that you're getting a lot of things right. Just a few tweaks need to be made in how you approach your work and the people who surround you. The Leadership Operating System Quiz allows you to assess your effectiveness in leading others, leading yourself, your ability to influence, managing your energy, and your communication skills. Go to womentakingthelead.com forward slash quiz to find out more and to get your free report. Let's dive a little more deeply into identity and value contribution. According to Psychology Today, identity encompasses the memories, experiences, relationships, and values that create one sense of self. This combination creates a steady sense of who one is over time, even as new facets are developed and incorporated into one's identity. Your identity answers the question, who am I? Or more pointedly, who am I in relation to what's going on around me? Now, your identity will trip you up in your new role if your identity has not grown with you. Ideally, your identity will have grown to encompass your new role before you took it on. I had a previous boss tell me that she and the other leaders deciding on promotions knew I was ready for my last promotion because it became apparent that I started thinking more globally in the organization, which was required for the role that I ultimately took. The questions I asked and the comments I made in meetings let them know I was ready, right? And in a good situation, this is what's going on. The leaders you know, who are deciding these things, know what to look for to identify if someone's ready for a promotion or they know how to guide them there. However, you and I both know it doesn't always work out like that. Sometimes we're given a promotion or new responsibilities because we're the closest to being ready amongst our peers. 
If your identity has not grown to encompass your new role, the question your identity will be prompting is, who am I to be here? If identity is what's tripping you up, you will find yourself thinking things like, I don't belong here. I can't keep up. Why did they pick me? They're going to find out soon that they picked the wrong person. The disconnect between your self-concept and the role you have will exhaust you. You might find that you are starting to sweat as you get ready for your workday, and you may even experience dread. This identity slash role crisis will impact how you show up as a leader and how you perform your role. So doing the leadership operating system quiz will help you identify where this crisis is showing up in your leadership. This quiz is also helpful in identifying the other thing that can trip you up in a new role. Now, you may not have any issues with identity in your new role. You see yourself as the person for this role. You knew you were meant to be here and you have arrived. However, You either can't quite seem to get away from the work you used to be doing, or you still have a strong desire to be doing, and I'm putting in quotes, the work in order to feel productive. What is tripping you up here is your sense of value, namely how you contribute value in your new role. This is a mindset issue around value and worthiness, yes. It's also an interesting devaluation of the contribution of good leadership or your particular brand of leadership. And if this is you, you're not alone. Many of my clients get tripped up here. It can be difficult to going from doing work you were good at and comfortable with to doing things that make you a little uncomfortable, like running meetings, giving performance reviews, or board presentations. It can also be difficult to go from having a hand in the day-to-day work and making an immediate visible impact to being the person who guides and counsels the individuals doing the day-to-day work, or going from the person who guides and counsels individuals doing the day-to-day work to the person who guides and counsels leaders, right? Getting further and further and further removed from the actual day-to-day work. You are now impacting more people and through them more work overall, but your perception of the situation may prevent you from realizing your guidance and counseling is having a bigger impact than the day-to-day work you used to do. Each role change requires a new mindset shift around your identity and how you contribute to the organization as a whole. If you are struggling after your last promotion, this is where you want to focus. And if you are aspiring to your next promotion, this is where you want to prepare yourself. Do you see yourself in your next role? And do you feel excited about the idea? Are you ready to let go of some of your current responsibilities so that you can focus on the work that will have greater impact? Wow, this has been fun. It's so good to be back and to be with you again. I've got some good stuff planned in the months to come. So be sure you're following or are subscribed to the Women Taking the Lead podcast in the app that you are listening in right now, or you can get subscribed on the website as well. If you're interested in finding out more about my process, the cost of coaching, or how to ask your employer to pay for you to work with a coach, send me a message on any social media platform or click on the scheduling link in the show notes. You can find that link in the episode description. If you're listening on your phone, that will be in your podcast app. And if you're listening through the Women Taking the Lead website, the link will be toward the bottom of the episode webpage. I would love to hear from you. As always, I hope this was of value to you and here's to your success.